This is the pancreas model. It fits into the torso model, a little bit like this right here. Okay, let me rotate it around so you'll be able to see all of the blood vessels at one time. The, aorta, the abdominal aorta is right here, it'd be vertical, and this is the first branch off of the abdominal aorta. This is the celiac trunk. It's about a centimeter long in adults. You can see that it branches into three blood vessels just almost immediately. This one blood vessel is going over here to the spleen. This is the splenic artery. This blood vessel comes up to where the stomach is, and it's the left gastric artery. This is the one here. And then this one here is the common hepatic artery. The common hepatic artery is going to branch into the hepatic artery, which would go over here to the liver, and then you have the gastroduodenal branch that comes down to the duodenum. So the arteries that you need to know on this model are celiac trunk, splenic artery, left gastric artery, common hepatic artery, hepatic artery, and gastroduodenal artery. We want to look at the lymph nodes of the torso model. All of the lines that are connecting the dots, those are lymph vessels. Lymph nodes are named according to the region that they're on. The regions that they're on, this one here is underneath the arm, so it's the axillary lymph nodes. The ones up here in the cervical region or the neck region, these are the cervical lymph nodes. Let's come down to the inguinal region. These are the inguinal lymph nodes, the dots here. And then this is the breast, and the green tissue on it, those are the mammary lymph nodes.